Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 12.3, the last one here. We're going to look at graphs with rate of change and what equilibrium is going to look like. So that means you're going to have to sketch these graphs and all that fun stuff. Collision theory, again, energy diagram of kinetics, so that's the little wee, so it should be not too new. Boltzmann diagram for activation energy, factors that contribute to the rate, and concentration changes do not always have the same effect. So let's take a look and see how that does. All right, interpret graphs for rate of change. So what happens here is we've got the reaction of NO2 yields NO plus O2. And here's a graph of the concentration of it. Okay, this is from your book. So if you look somewhere in Chapter 12, it's in there. Um, so as this is coming down, um, you can see that initially the rate is the greatest because it is the steepest. Okay, Over here, the rate is slower because its slope is less. Um, coming up here, start with a fast rate, start with a fast rate. This up here is a reactant because you have some. Look, here it is, 0 0.01. These are products because you start out with nothing. Okay, so you have two products. Now notice these two do not increase the same rate. What would that probably mean? Well, this one looks like it's, is it about roughly double? Right here is where I got to point, um, to 0.0025. This is 0 0.005. So it's double. So look, oh, 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 that two would mean it, oh, 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 two times this one. Okay, so that's how you can interpret gross rate of change. Um, what is the reactants? We talked about that. The reactants are the one on the top. What are the products? Ones that are on the bottom. What are the coefficients? We talked about that um, based on the ratio of amounts. What happens when the graphs have a slope of zero? So when the slope is zero, so if we did this, that means not the reaction stops. It means it's at equilibrium. The reaction does not stop. So both reactions occur at the same rate. And that's what equilibrium means. Why did all of the slopes reach zero at the same time because equilibrium happens for all parts. So equilibrium happens to all the parts at the same time. You can't have one thing going back and forth without the other one also going back and forth. So if I have A plus B yields AB star plus AB, if I did this, let's see what happens here. Ooh, hey, not too bad, huh? Um, this would be A plus B. This would be A, B, star. This would be A, B. This is the transition state. Reactants, products, activation energy. Okay, this is the energy you have to get to. Oh, I've got to climb over this hill before I can get to this wonderful world of productness. Okay. A plus B, hey, am I psychic or what? A, B, hey, look at that. A, B star, hey, how about, oh, oh, yeah, ooh, I forgot to do the heat of the reaction. The heat of the reaction is the energy change that goes through it, okay? This shows it as a double arrow. Because we're imagining it going from left to right, I prefer this to be a down arrow, so it is exothermic, okay? Look, here's an endothermic one. Why is it endothermic? Because, look, products, more energy than reactants. Still has an activation energy. Still have to climb over this hill. Ah, oh, here's your transition state, which is a very high energy state that it's unstable. This is unstable. So you can make up whatever silly um, uh, Lewis dot structure you want to for. Okay. This, by the way, is the reverse reaction of it, which I only noticed because the arrow is going the other way. But it would be endothermic for reverse. The catalyst changes the rate by lowering the value of the activation energy, okay? Changes the rate, so this, that's the speed, right? By lowering the value of the activation energy. So if I have this or I have that, notice how my activation energy, it lowers the activation energy so it's easier to go through that less energy is required. It does this by changing the mechanism. We've been working on mechanisms by changing the mechanism. Okay. So here's my catalyst. Woo! Shortcut, right? 
So it takes less energy, so it will be faster. And how does it make it faster? By changing the mechanism. Here we go again. In order for action to occur, there must be a collision with enough energy in the right orientation. So a catalyst would increase the number that have enough energy. That's how a catalyst works. Arrhenius equation, R is in Julie. Hey, this is that one that I told you you should know. Hopefully you wrote it down now if you didn't dig it out of an equation sheet. So L and K equals negative EA over R, blah, 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 blah. Explain how these factors contribute to rate. Temperature increases the energy, right? It also increases the frequency of collisions, right? Because the particles move faster. So if you increase energy, that means more have enough energy. Okay, so that's what temperature does. That's the ni that's ninety nine percent of its impact. Only one percent of it is. Oh yeah, there'll be more collisions. Pressure would be more collisions because that means that they're kind of closer together, right? Nature of reactants. Remember that means what it is. So that um, would make orientation. That affects orientation. This is rarely talked about. So it's like, oh yeah, if it has a good orientation, it's faster, or bad, or a good nature, it's faster, or bad. It's a concentration, there will be more collisions. It doesn't make it move faster, there's just more collisions. Okay, so that, assuming increase in this, increase in this, increase in this. So increase temperature, by the way, that would make it go faster. Decreasing would make it go slower. Increasing pressure makes it go faster. By the way, this is for gases only. Um, increased concentration makes it go faster if it goes up. And if you say explain how these factors contribute to the rate, notice how collision, orientation, collision, enough energy, collision. You better state the collision theory. Hey, look at this. This is a graph of temperature's effect. This is the Boltzmann distribution. Boltzmann. Okay. This is the activation energy. Notice how curve one, less particles under the curve, less can actually react. So anything under the curve means I have enough energy to react. This way you have way more. Notice how it looks like it's double. Okay. Figured this is from the book, 12, 16, effect of a catalyst on the number of reaction producing collisions. So notice right here, it's uncatalyzed. There's your activation energy. This shifts it to the left. Look at the area under the curve. Oh my goodness. Whoa! That makes it a lot, 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 lot faster. Because you didn't change the temperature, you just changed what you needed. Okay. So imagine you're trying to slam dunk a basketball. So you're Reed and you're trying to dunk a basketball. Okay. Reed can jump this high. Whee! So what does Reed do if he wants to dunk a basketball? Reed gets a ladder. Reed may not be able to dunk a basketball, but he can climb up a ladder. Man, that's a big hoop. And dunk it in. So the ladder makes it easier so Reed doesn't have to jump as high. See this? He'd have to jump really high. This is Reed over here. I can't jump high enough to react. Here's Reed. I have a ladder. This is easy. Um, you can look at an interpretation of this. This is the Boltzmann. Again. Distribution of temperature. Remember, the this is cold. This is hot. That activation energy corresponds to the peak if you turn it sideways. How you do that mathematically to do that, I don't know, but that's it. You can see how if you can move your activation energy down to here, you're lowering your activation energy. Concentrations effects are not always the same. Concentrations effects depend on the mechanism, which means it depends on the rate law. Rate, 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 rate law. I put it there twice because I messed up. The concentration only matters if it is in the slowest step or the equilibrium step. Look in the rate law. By the way, you may think, well, if I double it, then it's going to double it. Well, only first order. If it's zero order, double equals kissing your sister, which is nothing. And if it's second order, double equals quadruple, which I guess would be like kissing quadruplets. Review. Interpretation of graphs rate. So you need to be able to tell those things from that first graph. So you should go back and draw that graph now, right? If you didn't do it before, draw that graph. Zero slope is equilibrium on that same graph. Reactants have amounts in the beginning. Products don't. 
No, those reaction hills and catalysts. So again, another graph. Explain how rate is changed by. Okay, and relate to rate law. I'm sorry, rate to collision theory. And enjoy. Toodles.